Hey, hey, you guys. Look at my eyelash. It's like literally popping off. I just bought these yesterday and they're very natural, like little strips or whatever. And I kind of think I stuck them on pretty well because from far away a little bit, you can't really tell that I'm wearing eyelashes, whatever. I'm just running errands today. It's my day off. It's <clears throat> the day that I get to really do everything, like run errands, do my laundry, whatever I need to do, grocery shop, today's the day that I do it. And I just wanna pop on here, you guys, and I want to talk a little bit about transitioning and how I think that you should not let your transition get in the way of living your actual life. I am almost 30 years old, and I'm not saying that that's old by any means. Also, check this little outfit. It's like a pink little, like, I got these little pink sweatpants, this little pink shirt, little natural makeup, whatever. Loving the hair color. Anyways, sorry guys. Sorry to get off topic, but I am almost 30 years old. I've been transitioning for over 10 years, and... I think that a lot of us get into this mentality where we feel like, and this happened to me and I fell into this kind of mindset, but I used to think to myself, when I get my nose done, that's when I'll be happy. When I get this done, that's when I'll be happy. When I get this done, that's when I'll be happy. I'll start doing this X, Y, and Z once I get this done because I'll be comfortable and I'll be happy with myself. And there was so many things in my life that I did not do years ago just because I was so fixated on getting surgery and getting further ahead in my transition. And I'm not saying that that's not valid, you guys, because it totally, totally is. I understand the feeling of feeling almost crippled um, by the way that you look or not being passable or whatever it may be. I understand those feelings completely. I mean, I, I dealt with that for years. But looking back on it, I really, really wish that I would have enjoyed my life more because I feel like your life and your transition are obviously um, go together. But I also feel like you've got to understand that regardless of whether your transition is moving slowly, whether your transition is at a standstill, or you're not able to transition, or you're just not where you want to be, your life is still moving forward. Life is still going on around your transition. So it gets really easy to kind of feel like we have all this time to waste, or like our life is going to be amazing and and it's going to be awesome once we feel comfortable in our own skin. And, and that is true. Life does change. And it's almost like this door opens and you're like, oh my God, I'm happy with myself. Now I can really enjoy things for what they are. But at the same time, I feel like I lost a lot of the best years of my life, which was my early 20s, just worrying about the way that I looked and... I, it's it's easy for me to say that now because I feel a lot better with my um, outward appearance and <clears throat> I just I have a fucking like little frog in my throat it's so annoying I almost feel like I have to like hawk a loogie or something uh, it's just like so I feel whatever congested um, anyways but I spent so many years just thinking that I was going to just magically one day get some surgery and feel better and blah 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 and that actually took a lot of time it was it was a very gradual slow gradual process and I'm not saying that surgery didn't alleviate that or didn't help it because it did I'd be a liar if I said it didn't but at the same time I think I just I think giving giving yourself time to just really let the hormones do what they got to do, really get comfortable and, and be mindful of the fact that your life is still moving forward. And you don't want to be, you don't want to spend four or five years of your life, um, you know, not really enjoying yourself because you're not where you want to be. And I, I, I really, I don't have any regrets 
um, about the way that my transition has gone. I really truly believe that every decision that I've made, whether it's been good or whether it's been bad, had to happen the way that it did for me to be where I'm at right now. And I'm not where I want to be by any means, but again, I'm trusting the process. I feel like nothing is a coincidence and I don't want to get into like some otherworldly shit because I'm not really like that, but I think I am a little bit spiritual to the to the point where I'm like the universe gives you what it gives you for a reason. Um and so I just I I always I've had so many friends throughout the years that are just kind of putting their life on pause and they don't want to do certain things and they don't want to they have all these goals and all these you know uh, whether you want to call it activities events achievements whatever it is that they want to do that they don't do because they just don't feel comfortable enough yet and I really really fell into that hard I mean so much so that I used to not want to like I just didn't want to do many things. I didn't want to go out places. I didn't want to do certain things. I didn't want to wear certain things. I would be like, oh, I'll wear that top once I have really big boobs. I'll wear this once I get my nose done. And I'll do this makeup once I get my nose done. And it was just like constantly I was just, you know, denying myself all of these things that I just wanted so bad and there was nothing holding me from doing them it was my own mentality of thinking that you know a surgery is going to magically open that door and allow me to do those things and I'm going to enjoy them and and I'd be lying if I said yes it did help but I also wish I would have enjoyed myself more I really I that's the only regret that I have I wish I wouldn't have spent so much time dwelling 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 and holding off on doing things because I just felt like oh I'll do them once I do this or once I do that or you know blah 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 you guys know what I mean I'm pretty sure that I it's I'm explaining myself to a point where you can understand it I'm really bad at articulating my thoughts you guys but you know I mean well I just um you know for anybody especially transitioning younger if you're a teenager or early 20s don't get sucked into that. If you want to wear something, if you want to do certain makeup, if you want to go to certain events or do certain things, as long as it's safe, then do them. Don't enjoy the process of your transition. Enjoy every single stage of it. Enjoy, you know, the early hormone stage. Enjoy if you're planning on getting any surgeries. Enjoy the process. Take pictures. So you have memories to look back on. Just really enjoy and go with the process because if you don't and you want to just move fast, fast, fast and you don't want to have, you know, if you don't really want to be present for the early parts of your transition, you're going to miss out on a lot in your life. And I, my early 20s, you guys, feels like a blur that I hardly even remember. And that's really fucking sad. And I think that, if I had to sum up my early 20s and really say like what can I remember from them the most is just wanting and saving up for surgery after surgery and again it had to happen that way but I really wish I would remember more of that phase I really wish I would have remembered more memories I wish I would have made more memories I wish I would have done more things and I just you know for a big chunk of your life to be based around surgeries and transition it just I don't feel good about that um and that's not to say that it was a bad time in my life but it's just not what I wish I would remember the most anyways um thank you to everybody who watches my videos and my rants I just have had this on my mind for the past few days and it's something that I've spoken about before but I just really wish that I guess I really wish that more people in our situation you know would really embrace the transition part because it's a big regret that I have um but yeah you guys uh follow me on Instagram I will have my link down below um I post selfies and things like that nothing exciting um, 
And yeah, leave your comments below. Let me know how you guys feel about what I talk about. I always love to hear some feedback. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm a dumb bitch who doesn't know anything. Or maybe you're like, damn, bitch. Like, I understand that. Like, that hit me. Whatever you feel, I want to know. I just know that it's been a topic of discussion with, you know, my other trans girlfriends that I've had in the past. And they're like, yeah, I kind of feel the same way. They're just thoughts that I feel like I never hear people really speak about. And so I'm like, it's so important, you know, I, in my opinion. But anyways, love you guys. I will see you again soon. I am loving this little makeup look. Let me give you a little outfit again. Oh, loving the colors. Summertime, bitch. Bye.